All right, let's move on to the defense here. So defensively, uh, you know, I, I'd say it was a better showing. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't just exactly where you want it to be. Um, I do want to point out one thing on the officiating. I think they missed a major hold here. I don't, mm. It didn't matter. To, it didn't matter on the, on the play. But I think that is yeah. holding right there on uh, on Mason Taylor. You know, not not or not on Mason on uh, Mason Smith. Yep. That's not that's not holding on him. That they were holding him, and it, it obviously didn't matter right here. Um, <laughs> could have liked to have seen that. Should caught. have been a pick. Yeah, like to have seen that caught, but they did miss. I think the officials are are, are missing. But I, yeah, here's the right here. Just a, I mean, come on, dude. Like, gotta have that. That's you know. It's there's gonna, gonna be a game where that's gonna matter. Right. Yeah, right. This game maybe not. There's going to be a game where that one's going to matter. And um, I do apologize for that little light right in the middle of our screen. That's uh, I'll that's tell you my, what, the lady, fault. the lady sitting behind me at the game, she thought there was a hold every play. <laughs> like every single play. Well, yeah. uh, hold. I was like, hold every play. Every that's holding. Play. That's literally. Well, that's holding. Well, well, here's what's funny. There is probably a hold on every play. <laughs> probably, Literally, there's probably is, a hold on but, every play. But I mean, they you know they ain't, they ain't gonna call it. And then so. they called one of them, and I mean she. <laughs> now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of complain a little bit about scheme for just a second. All right, I'm because I'm, I'm I'm gonna get into later about Perkins and how I think some of the scheme is starting to show of what what they're trying to do with him. But you've got you got twenty of your twenty two people right here. You've got the quarterback of Auburn right here. Okay, he is decoy Leroy. Okay, could they throw the ball to him? Sure, if you don't cover him. <laughs> but here's the thing: that's Harold Perkins out here. Why is Harold Perkins in coverage on the quarterback and Wildcat? Go put your worst DB out there on him and put Perkins somewhere in the box and help stop the run. Because I want right. you to watch what watch what they do here. It's just like, oh, boom, 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 touchdown. Yep. Like, and Harold Perkins isn't he? He's standing a part he's, of the play. He's, he's like he's down here covering the quarterback. I mean, uh, again, I, there might be something to it. Again, I, I'm I'm not in their meeting rooms and. I'm not going to pretend like I know everything, but at the same time, when when your best players, you take—I mean, literally just took taken out of the game. But um, that's that's my that's my complaining about the scheme for 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 this game. Uh, I'm sure there's some other things other people would like to complain about, but that's the one thing. Um, now we we're talking about talking about the run reads and different things. This is an absolutely horrific run read by. Uh, so they're pulling both of these guys. So really, he's reading this guy. And he, there's like two guys free back here. So it's like you've got this guy kind of run into the flat, like trying to pull the same stuff, except they're pulling guys. And I don't – pull that. Pull it yeah. Pull it right here. Yeah. You know, pull it. You, you could throw it. You could – I mean, but we – if you watch, LSU runs down guys constantly. Right. Why would – is the – and again, I know this isn't a, a, an Auburn quarterback show, but <laughs> – it just makes no sense to me. At what point does does that look like something you want to you want to play? Right. Now again, right. they had you know Mason Smith was back there. I get it, but you know there's a lot of there's a lot of different things that can go on. But you know, I mean, if you're if that's what I'm looking at right there. Now he might have seen that guy again. I'm not in the quarterback's yeah. vision, but I mean, that there's you don't have much of a chance there. That's good right. good good play by uh, uh good play by the LSU defense. Um, Parishan, was that? That's what that's what that was. Parishan. Parishan. Yeah, Paris. From, uh, oh, Shan. From, what are you Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. The Shan. guy that made that play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Parishan. See, I didn't, I didn't even know there was a Parishan transfer. Option. Transfer. It's amazing how they're getting all these. These guys couldn't play at these other schools, and then all of a sudden they come to LSU <laughs> and they're good. I'm like, I think he was a starter at yeah. like, Arizona. I don't know, maybe they're just getting the good ones. All right, so pass rush here. Now, this is one thing they have been doing. Again, they're losing contain too often on mm. on running quarterbacks. And as you look here, you've got, you know, right here, it's you've there's nobody outside here. Yeah. You, so one of you guys has to stay outside, and that's where there's too many times that you see that, and then they're able to run out. And again, what I want you you can, you can kind of see it at the bottom of the screen right here. The best block in football is the block that uh, – Run them off. Run them off. I mean, he literally – Major has no idea that the quarterback's running. He literally is running away. The quarterback's running right behind him. <laughs> and he's – now again, He's blocking for the now quarterback. Again, again, there is a point. There is a point where he's passing the line of scrimmage. You might want to stop covering your dude because he, he, if he throws it to him, let him throw it to right. him. Right. But, you know, kind of like right there, he finally realizes it. But, uh, a little late. But you can't – 
you know, is it Swen- Swenson stint? Yep, Swenson. Swenson, right? So Swenson goes inside. You know, again, one of these guys, you know, Mason Smith or somebody, you can't just do your own thing because you're going to lose contain right yeah. there. And, and again, you know, that, that's, that's hard. Now, here's, here's something they're doing. I talked about rushing past the quarterback. Now, I will give the ca- caveat here. This one does get called back for a holding. Uh, but at the same time, when you rush past the quarterback, say he rushed, he, he knows now he's rushed past mm-hmm. the quarterback. He's like, oh, crap, I got to come back. Well, again, all these dudes are getting walled off. You've yeah. rushed past the quarterback. You've got a humongous lane right here. And this is third and 16, okay? So I get it. They, they, they called holding right there, I believe. But – that's a first. That's a first down. If they don't, obviously, right. if you don't get to holding. But here's the thing: he didn't. That guy didn't have to hold. Yeah, I mean, it's, it'd have been a first down regardless. You know, so look at the look on his face. <laughs> they got the holding call over there. I said, nah, that ain't holding. <laughs> yeah, buddy, it was holding. Watch, watch. I believe, I believe it was uh, fifty-two on the left. Yeah, it's kind of. I think it's behind us right here. But, but I mean, when you have that much room, right, right. Again, you, you got to be careful about the, um, you know, the different things you do. Uh, and pass rush to make sure you stay on on top of things. Now, when when you can't get to the quarterback, again, is, is this my guy? Uh, you just said his name, uh, Parishan. 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 Yeah. So right here, he's not going to get to the quarterback. So he sticks his hand up in the air, and boom, knock it down. Mm-hmm. I mean, but again, that's that is like a, that's a timing thing. That's a uh, you know, right now. I'm not getting to the quarterback, okay? I'm not getting there, and he's about to throw it, so I'm going to stick my hand up. And, again, it's just, you know, great D linemen kind of have that feel for it of when to, when to throw your hand up, and I thought that was a pretty good thing by him. Um, now, this is just absolute dominance right here. And uh, this is, uh, again, uh, Swenson here. Now, Wingo gets the gets the sack, but, I mean, look at that. Hmm. I mean, that looks, like Harold, per- looks like Harold Perkins right. coming around the edge, and that that's what made the – that's what made this. And then I want you to watch the watch Makai Wingo here. He kind of does the same thing. I mean, then he gets the sack. Crazy thing is, I mean, you know, Swenson does that work there, and you know, he's not going. He doesn't not, get the stat. He's not in the stat book. Right. But again, look, look at. I mean, when 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 you're a ta- when you're an offensive tackle and you're in that position right yeah, there, you're cooked. Uh, not good, brother. You know, you right here, right here. He's probably just thinking, I'm just going to try to push him on the ground. <laughs> hey, that's that's actually called a lookout block. You know, look, look, out. look out he's coming. <laughs> you know, but again, you know, that's that's a, that's the dominance I think by the upfront right. guys right now is 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 big. All right, so they talked about this and 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 actually noticed this too. And the, the whoever the guy calling the game was must have been a former quarterback. Um, saw this. They're running what they call what a lot of people call like a glance, or it's like a a short post. It's kind of a it's a deeper slant. Yeah. You know, it's kind of in the middle of there. So. But they're what they're doing here. So what they're going to do is they're, that's Major Burns. Major Burns coming down to play run. Well, they're reading him. They're actually reading this area right mm-hmm. here. So if that if that area voids out, and right here, so you'll see he comes down. See that area right there voided yeah. out, and he's about to run right into that area. So he in, instead of reading somebody on the line, he's reading this to throw it. And again, boom, you know, you get it in there. And then the crazy thing is is. Uh, the announcer was the announcer was thinking the same thing because it's the very next play, hmm. very next play, different coverage. But he's re- again he's reading the area right here. He's reading like the void. Very next play, they run basically the same play and see how void. There's just it, not that there was right. anybody there. It just voided out. So um, you throw the same play, and the guy on uh, the guy calling the game goes. But I'll tell you what, I wish some of these NFL coaches would watch this because, you know, you can't call the same play twice in an NFL game. You lose your card. And it's 100% true. I mean, it, we, we would run plays that would work and then, like, you never run it again. Barely yeah. barely come back to it, if, it, if, it well, especially not the next play. Again. Oh, you can't run it two times in a row. They'll right. know. Back to back. Like, I'm sorry, man. If, Line if it up differently. If you're whipping them, if you're just straight whipping them, especially in a run game, just line up and run it. Line right. up and do it. Who right. cares? Do it till they stop it. And right here, that right here, Auburn said we're going to do it till you, till we stop it. So, this next one was I think two plays later. Uh, and he tries to throw it down here, and I believe I believe there's pi called here. Um, oh yep, yeah, there it comes in. Play. But you could I don't know if they had the replay on this one, but now they don't. But they came they came back to it again, and the the corner jumped it. The corner jumped it pretty hard. You just can't see it on the film here, but the corner jumped it, and they got pi. But they, you could tell, like they were going to do right, it. Right, right. They were going to do it until they stopped it. And then, 
All right, now this is uh, this is an explosive pass. This is quarters personnel, so they're going to end up like running like kind of you know a couple little uh, you know underneath you know in routes here, and it's going to end up pulling this safety down. And th these quarter this guy's a quarter safety, and that's Burns. This tight end's going to run a route on him like a post route, but it, watch watch his hips get turned, and when his hips get turned. Mm -hmm. That that's when he you'll see it from the other view, but that's how they got this playoff, and it pulled. My point of telling you about the other side of it is if you watch right here when they when they show it the deep the deep part of it, like all the other guys had pulled down because of those two guys right. running like that, and it, uh, it it kept the backside safety out of there, and they were able to throw that post, and you'll see it from this uh, from this angle here. So you'll see he's run he's run here. He'll get his his hips will kind of turn, and he'll have to like you know flip back around and try to go cover and right right when he turns see right when he turns his hips that tight end goes inside on, yeah. and that's how he beat him and you can see the other safeties right there so that yeah. that it, it, it vacated that area back there because he jumped down on those other routes right there and but again that's that's just you know i think major burns had a it, it still could have got back and made that it play. was a it was a good play to get back in right, position right it's just when he when his hips turned slightly right yeah. there if he didn't turn his hips like that, because I think he might have thought he was running the corner. Yeah. Again, I, I haven't watched Auburn's uh, Auburn's film enough to know if are they a big corner running team. I don't know, but I mean they may have been one of those things where they saw and he and he film, jumped that. Yeah. Um, now this is just a seam over a dig, and um, and when I say that, you'll see it. So he, well, shoot, I go back here to the. There we go. All right. So this guy's going to run here and he's just going to run like a seam right here and again the, the this ball should be picked off okay so this this receiver here is going to stop he's going to kind of stop right about mm -hmm. here so when he does that the corner that's right here that's bailing out or the, there's a cover two guy here you can see it from the other view but he's way back here there he is when that guy stopped way back here this corner should have then played back in and he didn't yeah. play in quick enough uh, to get in on that, on that, and it just, you know, again, it goes, it goes back to, just kind of route recognition. So that that there's a guy that stopped up here for Auburn, and you know the guy he, he's behind my head here, but he he should have broke in a little bit cleaner than this, and you can see right there he just didn't get there in time, yeah. and uh, you know it's you can see the route break off right here actually I believe. See how he, he broke oh, when yeah. that guy breaks his route yeah. off. Now not I'm not talking about twenty four here. It's it's the other yeah, I guess it is twenty four right there. So he, he should break it off right there. So when that when that guy breaks off his route right there, there is there's nothing the there's nothing back. else there's nothing yeah. else deep back here. Go ahead and, and sink in a little bit onto five and don't don't stay so far away from him. He could have gone and made that play a little bit better. He might have intercepted it. Yeah. And uh, it's it's better seeing from the the all twenty two kind of you can see it, but you can see where I'm trying to go with that. Um, now this is I'm going to talk about Perkins for a minute and and what they're doing with him, and I think it's pretty interesting to to think we were talking about before the show started. Um, we were all in here talking about, you know, why what somebody's going to scheme Perkins out of the game. You know, why would you ever throw at him? It's a good question. And again, you've got a tight end right here. You got Perkins out here in the slot, and people are like, well, why do you have him out here in the slot? Well, it does take away a lot of the bubbles because here's the thing: is that guy going to block Perkins? <laughs> no. I, 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 I mean, probably not. But you can see right here they're going to throw a bubble, and there's Perkins right here. Perkins just says, "Nope, get off me, bro," <laughs> and then comes over here and just wrangles my man down. And the cool thing was it actually wasn't a horse collar if you saw it from the. It wasn't face mask though. Yeah, but you can see right it, here. But, but but you can see right that's but that's why right. that that takes away again it takes away this part of the field right here when you have a guy like Perkins. So I kind of can understand a little bit about why they're wanting to do it. It's just, there's times though, I wonder like, why is he not rushing the passer? Right, right. But again, he does take away. And again, you do have a ton of other pass rushers on this team, you know? So I think that has, that, that may have something to do with it too. You know, when you, when you have all the other guys that are rushing, like it just allows you to get another guy. On the right. I, 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 I kind of, I kind of get it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not fully sold on it, but here he is, and he's blitzing off the edge. This running back right here, this is another reason. If you if you put him out in space, uh, oh, let me get past this bubble again. If you put him out in space, 
and he's right here. He's not part of the four down and like the mic that the line that the O line, the five O linemen are blocking. He becomes somebody that a running back then blocks, <laughs> which is which is crazy. So if you watch this from the other, I think the running back should have blocked him right yeah. here. You can kind of see. Um, Watch 27. 27 will step up here. And I think 27 is supposed to actually come over here and, and get him. Now, here's here's where here's where they did a good job. LSU did a good job of uh, disguising. So when, when this guy motioned out like this, you could see, like, it looks like he's – Yeah, it fooled it, me. It, I'm it, sit, I was sitting right in behind this in, yeah, end zone. It, it looks like he's going into coverage yeah. and he's staying high. Well, what happens here is, nope, boom, here he comes. Now watch 27. 27's like looking at this guy. Okay, <laughs> he, he no didn't idea. come. He's like, oh, and then watch, watch. He's like, oh, crap, you know. <laughs> but it's that at that point. Way buddy, too late. At that point, too late. Way too late. And uh, and again, so here, here's here's the next one now. They're running like a, uh, like they're pulling this guy over here and they're running a, looks like a, a, a step back bubble here and, a naked, I guess this is a naked, it's like a form of a naked, but here's the thing. This guy steps down and then is supposed to pivot back out. Perkins is gone, gone. by then. Yeah. If you can see 70, Look at 70, him. <laughs> 70, 72 actually tries to pivot right. back out. Perkins is already past him. I mean, look at him. My man. That, again, that's the same guy that was in the same that was the same uh right. the same stance he was in when thirteen ran around him earlier. I know I get it. That's not a sack, but man, I mean, come on, man. I, that's well. The, the I, play after was the sack we just watched. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's a little so out of order, I mean, but it, but you can see right here, like that again. Maybe again, why you can line him up out here yeah. because he gets lost. He gets lost in all this. Those guys kind of yeah. You shouldn't ever lose number four. Right. right. But in in all in in most schemes, when you're talking about blocking schemes, most schemes. The guys outside the box belong to somebody else, right? Right. And, and most of the time, unless you're sorting or sliding to them or something, but like right here, they're going left, and he's coming from the right, and that's uh, again, I'm starting to, I'm, I'm getting a feel for why right. they're doing things like that, and, and I mean, again, that, he was even accounted for on this one. He's just in a yeah. position where I mean, he's just be, he's, he's just too fast. You can see seventy two is right. like, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna lie. He might have been trying to trip him right there, but let's go back a little bit here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Oh yeah, he's trying to trip him. He, I, I guarantee he's trying to trip yeah. him right there. But because I mean, he's accounted for. Like seventy two knows he's supposed to. He, oh, he's he's, to, he's, to, he's to swing out and get him. He's fully accounted for, but the but again, but the problem no, is if that's four sitting right there. Right. Right. He's, he's out locked here in. and he's coming off the yeah. edge, and you know that's where. Again, that's 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 tough. So. Mm. Uh, Still, so you can kick me off there, um, but that I thought the defense did some things that were that were that were more sound. They didn't look like they missed as many tackles. Right. I think that's that's number one. You talk about the fundamentals. I think that's been the last two weeks has been fundamentals, fundamentals. Uh, they look fundamentally better. It looks like the, they've been coached up. I think they're guys. The LSU has good coaches. Right. Like, that's not the issue. I mean. <laughs> They're going to get them fixed. Matt House didn't forget how to coach football. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just sometimes you know. I mean, you, you run into a, uh, you run into a, uh, kind of a lull at times, and you yeah. got to get them out of it. And I get it. I mean, it happens to all of us. And but uh, when you were going through, you know, watching watching everything, mm -hmm. did you see? I know we had talked about like the gaps, like staying the def the defensive players staying yeah. with their gaps. I thought it. Did was, you see an improvement? I thought it was much better. Okay. And and again. You didn't see really many um, big runs, right? You know, you saw, you know, you saw a couple. There were there were some here and there that they they kind of popped for seven eight yards, but right. it wasn't anything like you saw in the Missouri game where you yeah. had four guys in one gap. I, I think, you know, there was a they looked a lot more simple in this game, Good. and I, I think that's one of those things that uh, when when you're not doing as well. Uh, maybe you're doing too much. Right. Maybe you need Trying to back to off and 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 do get good at something and right. stop them. You know, just say, hey, we're lining up. We got eleven. We're stopping you. You know, instead of trying to trick them. And I think sometimes you know you get caught as a coach and thinking, man, that's a good team. We got to do something that's different. We got to yeah. you know we, they're they're going to outsmart us. They're going to outcoach us. Well, sometimes you outcoach them by being fundamentally right and yeah. beating them physically. If you're especially if you're LSU and you're just more physically dominant than right than everybody yeah, so and somebody in the chat uh, brought up we me and you had kind of talked before the show about it and how it looked like they were throwing at zion Alexander 24 yeah. almost every play what did you see 
Uh, with that. I think I think they were picking on him, but I think at the same time uh, they were throwing to the boundary quite a bit, and I think he just happened to be to the side that they were throwing yep. to at the, at the time. Um, I wouldn't say they necessarily were picking on him because they were going both directions with it, but I would say there are some times like there was – there were a couple of like more go routes, I think, over on his side. Right. I don't think they hit any of them, but you could tell like they were trying some things more to to him. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think uh, Sage Ryan is is getting picked on just as much. Right. Uh, but it's just not. It, I think he's he's smart enough. I, when I say smart, I mean I'm not saying Zion Alexander's not smart. It's just I think Sage Ryan has played safety. He's played. You know, I think he has a feel for. Um, how to make up for right. some of those things. Well, I mean, yeah. and he's been at LSU playing at this level for, yeah. well, this is his third year. I mean, Zai transferred from Southeastern, so. And, and again. It's definitely uh, an adjustment. He, he's, you know, I, I don't know his background, but he's probably been a corner his right. whole time. And a lot of times if you're just a, if you're just a corner, you do learn just corner. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah, you might know where the other coverages kind of are, but as a, as a safety playing corner, he's going to know where, where his guys are to pass off to and, Right. You know, again, you saw that play. I believe that was him on the the one I told you. He, yeah, he, that was him. So you see, he didn't. He he should have played in a little bit further, yeah. and he didn't. And again, that 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 was probably something of them picking on him too. Right, but, right. Um, I do agree there was something there to that.